Oh, hi. So tonight is a special interview for you guys. With me tonight is DZ Live on Twitch. Um, you guys are absolutely going to love this guy. Um, he has so much insight. Um, he's a partner streamer. Um, so it's really, it's an honor for me to have him on here. So everybody, this is DZ Live. Say hi. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> the one, the one, the one day we do this, and my studio system shits the bed, so I'm on my laptop. I apologize. No worries. Hey, whatever works. I'm on a laptop too. So yeah, like everybody's like, DZ, it's DZ. Oh my god, it's DZ. Um, so before we get started into like you guys' questions for DZ, because I know you guys have a lot of questions about getting partnered and. Like what it takes to get there and everything. We're gonna go through some of the like regular questions, just so that you guys can, like, kind of get to know him a little bit. Um, Dizzy's amazing. So, first, first things first, Dizzy, where are you from? I am from Connecticut. I uh, I live in Connecticut, about forty minutes east of New York City. So, if you were to just travel on the water. You'd get to where I am. <laughs> so it take me like six hours to get there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> not it's not a, that long. It's a hike. That's funny. Um, so I know it's been a while, but what made you start streaming? Uh, I got into streaming accidentally. I <clears throat> I gutted out my whole basement, mm -hmm. and we were gonna remodel it in time to come. And I just set up this makeshift desk with a gaming rig I built. And I just wanted to play DayZ three years ago. And built into NVIDIA video cards is streaming technology. Uh, it's called Shadowplay. And it said, create a Twitch account for Shadowplay. So I created it. And I didn't even know what Twitch was. And I started, stream I started playing DayZ. And I'd see this number in the top right hand corner. Uh, keep going up and down, up and down, up and down, and I'm thinking, is that my frame rate? Because my frame rate's not that low. Finally, my son comes downstairs. He's like, "Yo, you're on Twitch." I'm like, "What the hell's a Twitch?" <laughs> he goes, "You got 25 people watching you play DayZ. You're not responding to them." I'm like, "Really? Oh, okay." So then, uh, you know how it is. Once you figure it out and you start doing it, you get the bug. Oh yeah. Uh, here it is, three years later. I'm sitting in a. Twenty thousand dollars soundproof studio and talking to you. <laughs> awesome. Um, so you just answered my next question. How long have you been streaming? Three years. Three years. Um, and I know everybody in here would love to know what your setup is like. It's like I don't uh, know if you can like pick up your laptop since you're, oh, you don't actually, have your cameras. Like pick up your laptop might, and kind of move it around. This might work for you. Hold on. All right. So. I will give you the tour. Okay. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is my studio, mm -hmm. part of it, and everything here, cameras. Uh, this right here is another room we have for streaming with like little studio seating. Uh, I have this is my secret Twitch pin collection. These are the pins I collect from different events. When I first saw these, I was like, who the hell would collect these? This is so stupid. And now it's like, yeah, I like them. So anyways, yeah, this is my studio. Uh, and here, I'll give you guys a tour. Yeah, say, so where's your green done. room at? I've never, I've never done It's a mess right now. I got cans everywhere. Well, but, you did just have a party there, so. Yeah, we're still cleaning up. But this is basically outside the studio. Mm hmm and here are my two past years of fundraising for $100,000 with St. Jude under TV Gaming. That's amazing. And there's my studio. That's beautiful. And that's, what, and that's what I record out of every day, live on Twitch. That's awesome. Again, my bar. And then we got a TV here that actually plays the feed. So if there's a party going on and everybody's out here, they, um, whatchamacallit, uh, they can watch the stream in real time. It's a it's a big party. That's all it is. It's a big party. Yeah, I think it's that's pretty beast. It's I when you showed me the pictures when you were like just building it, I was like, yes, I'm like yes. 
somebody else who could appreciate my level of like of course my streaming is nothing like that I have a laptop that I stream from but my level of expertise when it comes to like sound and stuff mm -hmm. uh, hi guys hi guys so um will you tell everybody what your schedule is like uh, Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. most of the time, and on the weekends it's open, you know, what I feel like doing. Do I want to be super dad, or do I want to hide down here and produce content? Or, yeah, uh, or do you want to do, what do you do, the uh, the native Xbox streams? <laughs> yeah, if I'm I'm lazy and I just want to play a game on the, on the couch over there, you know, in the stadium seating in front of the 72-inch TV, then I uh, I just put on a pair of headphones and go full-blown lyric mode yeah no know? camera nothing I love it it's it's pretty beast um, what makes your stream different than anyone else's you know it, it, it's funny I I keep telling myself uh, try new things don't do the same shit even if doing the same shit will get you a couple extra viewers um, the one thing I've learned from dealing with Twitch and talking to people from Twitch is either you're famous or you're not. And if you're not, if you want to grow, try doing new things. You know, uh, I, was it Einstein said, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is the true meaning of insanity. Right. And and that's the fact. you got to try new things. Um, when I first started streaming, it was all mobile games. You know, I used to, I had a contract with Gameloft. Uh, I've been on the front page 17 times playing their games. Um, and then I got into Vainglory, who have been very helpful. And now because of that, Twitch, you know, introduced me to uh, Proletariat, who have Streamline, and um, uh, Prominence Poker's uh, Pipework Studios. And, you know, the one game we're very excited for, and I know you are, is Super Fight. Yes. So, oh yes. This and that's is the cool that's stuff. 505 games or is that one Pipeworks? That's that's Pipeworks. That's also. Pipeworks, yes. Oh, I can't wait. So so these new technologies that are right around the corner, I'm already kind of playing with them. I've been privileged to be part of. So I care more about that than the 200 people coming to my channel right now. Right. Um that's what I care more about. The other thing is lately, now that the studio's completed, I like interviewing people. I like, I like having a radio station format here. You know, we have phone lines. We have cameras on every different angle in here. So that's the, that's the stuff I'm doing nowadays. I still play Vainglory, but when T Clock wants to come over, he's two miles away. Um, we can produce content. Attack of the Afro lives thirty minutes away. Right. You know, so these guys are all coming to me and they're like, let's just put a date in writing and keep going with it. You know, and then with the charity stuff too, I put out an APB to all my streamers in the area, and we have a big party. We did three thousand dollars in one day. That was beast. Having all these people here, so it's it's a no brainer, you know. Right. Yeah, that's it's really really awesome. It really is. Um, so you kind of went over some of the games you played. I know when you um, when you stream from your studio, you do a lot of. Um, the games like the ones that 505 and Pipeworks have done um, but when you go native from like your Xbox you play like Division and what else do you play from like your uh, Xbox? Right now Division, Call of Duty you know that's same old shit everybody else is doing uh, I want to get Overwatch <laughs> oh. uh, yeah I, I think I'm going to download it tonight but the one game and I, I just it's haven't had it's on sale on G2A <laughs> the one game I haven't had the patience to get back into that actually got me really popular really quick for a while, about a year and a half ago, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons game on Xbox. Really? Uh, yeah, that game, for some reason, always brought in a crowd. I don't know what it was. Um, and I wish I could get back into it. I just haven't had the patience. You know? I tried D DC Universe. Don't buy it, guys. Save your money. It's garbage. Don't. You were like, download it, download it. And I'm like, I'm going to download it tonight. And then you're like, no. <laughs> no, don't. Save your money. Get something else. You know, yeah. Play Overwatch. Uh, you know what? Um, Ghost GT27 started playing it last night. And oh, it was amazing. 
was yeah overwatch was fun yeah it was really amazing you played the the alpha or the beta for it uh thank you to swifter uh i got recommended to speak to somebody over at uh blizzard and i got in in the second alpha and all the betas after that so i've already kind of played it a lot so i'm not in a rush to get it but i do want to get it the million dollar question is if i buy overwatch for xbox does it synchronize to my battle net that if i fire it up on pc everything comes over and that's the hundred and thirty dollar question and i don't know if i want to do it yet you need to ask yeah you need to ask because we did a poll last night out of like 30 some people um that was in ghost stream last night while he was playing it and everybody was pissed because he got it on xbox Mm -hmm. and everybody besides like one person had it on pc yeah so well, a couple couple a listers i do stuff once in a while mm -hmm. have it on pc so i gotta get it for pc right and i don't mind getting it as long as it all synchronizes Mm -hmm. that's that's the million dollar question so you know i like playing as i like playing as tracer uh i like playing as i'm gonna screw up his name tvorik or torvek or whatever the engineer so he's my he's my ghost said it does ask for his battle net on xbox so ghost what we need to do then is get you on a pc and see if what you've done in your career in the game comes over and if it does then i don't mind buying two copies of the game because wherever i go it's there you know that's good that's good that's good that's really good so we'll have to figure that out huh um out of all the games that you've ever played what's your favorite game uh vainglory yeah yeah, I have a I have a love hate relationship with it sometimes, but um, it's just it, you know you know what the problem is um, if you get kind of popular playing one game, then you're kind of married to that game, Ugh, right? And then if you stop playing that game, you're gonna lose twenty to thirty percent of your viewers, and then you're kind of you get depressed, and then you feel like you're in a you feel like you're in a forced marriage, you know, like an arranged marriage, and you're like, God damn it, I can't believe I'm still here. But the thing is now, Vainglory, in my opinion, has come back around, and I like it a lot again. Uh, Battle Royale is a great mode if you haven't already. Check it out. You can knock out, you know, in a three-hour stream, I can knock out 12 games compared to five. Right. So it's, it's, it's really cool again, and as a broadcaster, you know, Super Evil Megacorps are really supporting us. I actually... You know what kills me? I have access to the beta. Uh, I always get the beta and I fill out forums and I, I can't talk about it though, but right. they just sent me an email before we went live saying you're allowed to stream the beta. And I'm just like, fuck. And my computer is, uh, I'm still rebuilding the computer so I can't anyway. No, no, yeah. not like this. No, no, okay. that's horrible. Yeah, that's no. absolutely freaking horrible. Um, so... What was the very first game that you ever played, like, in your whole life? Uh, Pong. <laughs> 19, 1978, 79. So Pong. you had an Atari, too? Yeah. I did, oh. too. Before Atari. Should we before? just... Yeah, no, um, we just aged ourselves. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so... Like, what kind of systems have you had over the years? Holy shit. All right, let's take it from the top. I had an Atari 2600, mm-hmm. a ColecoVision, Coleco. uh, a Nintendo, right? Super Nintendo, uh, Saturn, uh, Genesis. I had a Genesis back then, too. Uh, Saturn, Dreamcast, uh, which totally broke my heart because that never really took off. It should have. Um, <laughs> I've had all the Xboxes. I'm one of the original team members for Xbox Live, by the way. That's awesome. 14 years ago. Yep, 14 years ago. I used to do work with Microsoft. Uh, that's how come my gamer tag is DZ. Nobody has a two character gamer tag on it. No, Xbox. no, not at all. Um, yeah. Just real quick, KB said he thought he said thong and not pong. <laughs> uh, well, KB, if you want to wear thongs and we can throw a ball back and forth at each other, it's up to you, buddy. But don't judge me. It's all about yeah. that thong, the thong, thong, thong. <laughs> That's funny. So you've pretty much had like every system there was then. Yeah, I'm a fucking nerd. But so <laughs> nothing wrong with that. So, um, are you more PlayStation or Xbox? Like I have. 
true fact. I've only had the original PlayStation. I never liked PlayStation. I know a lot of people in your chat are going to be like, fuck this guy! Uh, but I've only had the original PlayStation. I, I guess you know what it was? Because of all the work I did with Microsoft back in the day, I've just stayed a Microsoft fanboy, if that makes sense. Right. So I still think PlayStation 4, up until lately, has had better graphics, but the whole ecosystem around an Xbox, in my opinion, is just better. But, you know, it's my opinion. Right. Uh, it, it, see, I never I never had an Xbox. I have always had um, the PlayStation. So, um, and I never had a game station until I graduated school, except for, you know, the Atari that we had when we were kids, but I was never home to play it. So, but that's interesting. Um, I need to ask you, because, like, I ask everybody this, and, like, I always get the weirdest answers for this question. But what is your absolute most outrageous Twitch story that you have? It could be about you or somebody that you know or something. Um, well, I'm not – okay, so I've seen so many people fail and lose their Twitch channels because they drink too much on their stream and it sets them up for failure. Like they just do something really inappropriate. Mm-hmm. And it's not – unless you're super popular, it's not recommended to keep doing that because you gotta you got to lead by example before you get partnered. You know, they look at that stuff. Right. Um, but I think the, the, the funniest thing I think I've ever done on Twitch, um, Ferris and I were interviewing the Haley Baby when we did our little talk show. And we, I didn't know that Haley was a stewardess. And she actually ate horse. She, uh, up in Canada, she ate horse meat. And... <laughs> I kept, and while I was interviewing her over the line, I kept playing like horses dying in the background, and she started crying. And it, I, I had to walk away. I was, I was just laughing my ass off. And I, I think the second thing actually happened lately that was really funny. Um, we had T Clock and Attack of the Afro in the studio when we first finished the studio, and I said, "Hey, I got gifts for you guys," and I gave them loot crates. So. T Clock was like, "Oh, well, I'm gonna open your box," and then Afro turns to him and he's like, "Well, don't put both hands in the box. I'm not that kind of guy." And then they they just start. So I start playing porn music, and then it becomes a funny skit. <laughs> Next thing you know, I take it as a highlight. I put it out on uh, on Twitter, and I got retweeted like five thousand times. So it's like, um, but yeah. So. Can you tell everybody about Cheetos? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> here's the joke. Um, we're having a rotten day. We're at PAX East. We're stuck in traffic. We're not going to make it to the Discord photo shoot. So, T-Clock says, hey, I, th- I got a joke that I think might make you guys laugh. And I'm like, yeah, I could really use it right now. because uh, We were supposed to get our photo with Lyric. Um, there was this whole Discord partner photo thing, but then they, they timed it wrong. It was too early in the morning, and not everybody can make it. So here it is. I'm finally going to meet like the number one streamer on Twitch and get my photo with him. And that's some serious street cred right there. Right, you know? right. And, and, a, and a promo photo. And I'm pissed. <laughs> and I literally turn to the driver, and I'm like, I'll give you $200 cash right now. And I'm literally... If you could get us there in ten minutes, and he's ready to drive up on the sidewalks and everything, this guy would be nuts. <laughs> and so T Clock goes, "I got a joke." And uh, oh, hold on, I got an idea. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh God, I hope you guys are enjoying this because I know I am. Um, Daisy's an absolute just riot, and you guys are gonna love this. I have an idea. So, um, oh, God. <laughs> so a guy goes to the doctor. And he says to the doctor, he says, doctor, my dick's turning orange. And the doctor's like, well, what's wrong? He goes, well, I recently got divorced and, you know, my life is kind of falling apart. He goes, well, tell me about your day. Well, I go to work, I come home, I let the dogs out, I clean the house a little, and then, uh, I don't know, I get naked, I eat some Cheetos, and I watch porn. You didn't get the joke. Oh, yeah, I did. I, I did. <laughs> right? <laughs> but see, I've heard the joke because... <laughs> Anyways, now in my channel, everybody 
everybody uh, makes Cheetos remarks. And they're very subtle about it, which is even funnier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, you know, T, don't forget your Cheetos. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think so, it's hilarious. That's... Well, anyways, that's the Cheetos. That's the Cheetos. Joke. Yeah. Well, and I figured because there's, like, I... a lot of people here that have only been in your stream, like, once or twice or maybe not at all. So. And I turned I turn them in the car and I'm like, all right, that was a funny joke. So it's been it's been the joke for the past like three months now on the channel. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, no, I I remember like hearing about it right afterwards, and I about died. I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. All right, so I have to know, do you rage? Uh, yeah, I try not to do it on stream because the kids that watch, but there are certain games I just can't play. Because I get very angry. Um, Dark Souls. I will. I will not play it. On, I will not play it on stream. I own it. I have it. I will never play it on stream because I will smash a controller. And I. I don't need. How, how do I put it? I know if I smash a controller, everybody's gonna make it a highlight and tweet it out, and it'll be funny and it'll get me views. But I don't want views that way. If that makes sense. Right. Um. Uh. That makes me angry. And then uh, when I get I get I rage sometimes before a stream starts because pre production's not set up correctly. I'm like really anal about that. Um, I actually have like minute notes and everything for like certain streams I do. Oh jeez. So yeah. That's I, just, I never pictured you as somebody that would be like, okay, from this time to this time I have to do this, and then we're gonna take a break and listen oh, to oh. Rochelle introduce the stream again, and then from this oh, time yeah. to this time we're gonna. I never pictured you to be like that OCD about it. Well, the whole thing is, it's you know, I I love production, you know, right. So it's it. I want to be different, and I don't want to just be the guy with a webcam. Yeah, know. right. Hey, follow my channel. This is great. You know, I don't want to be that guy. You know. Ghost said, "I have to stop streaming Bloodborne because I get too salty." <laughs> Ghost, I'm with you, dude. Ghost, I, I'm completely with you. And I've heard so many people say that Dark Souls is like the number one rage game there is. Yeah, that that is the number one rage game. And Super Mario Kart uh, is the one game that you'll lose friends and followers. Because everybody hates each other after they start playing that game. So. Super Mario Kart. Yeah. You're kidding. I had I had uh, uh the first uh, three years ago when I did the first Saint Jude. Mm -hmm. Miss Vixen said, "Everybody, make sure you have a Wii U. We're gonna play Mario Kart for the kids." Oh no, Miss Vixen, I, no! I, I made it. I made it three games in, and I smashed it. <gasps> I I smashed the whole Wii U, and I was like, "I'm not playing this fucking game ever again." <laughs> so. <laughs> that's that's funny. That makes my day right there. What Ghost just said. Uh, his stream is precise. Even when I watch with the, I'll even watch it with the commercials. That's the whole thing. I run bumpers. That's mm. it. Um, and hey, by the way, uh, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you don't watch uh, ads. I turn off ads. I don't need the revenue that much. Mm. I'd rather just play a bumper, you know, for something that is part of what I do. And yeah. you know, I, I tell everybody too. I'm like, if you give me a bumper. It's no longer than eight seconds. That's yeah. it. Eight seconds or just done. Right. Yeah, and and of course, if you guys go into his stream, you get to hear my voice five hundred thousand times an hour. You are the Cortana of the channel? <laughs> I had somebody tell me um, they want me to do their their um, what is it called? Their their GPS in two hundred mm -hmm. feet. Please take a left. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> Dude, I I think that's a great idea. <gasps> Oh, General says, I always love DZ streams. That's awesome. Thank you, General. Yeah. So, you said you like to smash stuff when you rage. Is When you do your pre-production rage, what is that like? Uh, okay, so I will have something lined up that I'm supposed to be doing, and then I realize I forgot X, and then it doesn't look right to me. You know, it, you know what I mean? Like, the sun's out of whack. There's nothing I hate more than like moving things around while I'm streaming. Like, oh, that's out of whack. The overlay should be here. Let me move it over. Ah, crap. Now I look unprofessional. You know. So that's just that's just my two cents. That's funny. Um, so, how much 
did you rage tonight before we started? Because I know we were supposed to start at I, eight, and your computer just know, took a shit. And I'm, uh, I, I could, I, I have a very, very bad habit. I bite my fingers, right. like my cuticles, I'm like this, ar, ar. and I could tell when I'm having a bad day when I look and I'm like, yeah, I'm a, yeah, uh, because I've been freaking out about this uh, for over 24 hours now. Uh, in case you don't know, my stream's not running right now. Um, my computer that runs the studio uh, on XSplit was dropping 100% of the packets. I've never complained about XSplit because I don't mind paying for it because I get what I pay for out of it. But <clears throat> I was so mad that I actually complained about it publicly for the first time yesterday. And XSplit actually reached out to me. They're like, DM us, let's take this offline, let's help you. And they, they did everything they could to help me. And I was just like, look, let's not waste your time. I'm really good with technology. I'm just going to wipe the computer clean and restore it from, you know, just native Windows 10. Okay. And literally, Rochelle and I just got it online and had it connecting properly right before we uh, went live for all you beautiful people. Yeah, just like right so. before. Um, what is your greatest gaming accomplishment because I, I know for you like I hear like tiny little things out of some people and I'm like wow that's amazing but I know that yours is I've heard some of yours so uh, you know what you know what my um, you know what my biggest accomplishment was two Saturdays ago 24 hour stream $3,300 that was my biggest gaming accomplishment gaming accomplishment and, and for you guys that don't know that was for St. Jude's Children's uh hospital for um cancer research and mm -hmm. that is that is I'm researching, amazing i'm researching how to give kb cancer you don't know. <laughs> okay kb said give me excellent address do you realize kb and i shoutcasted together for over a year almost every monday night are you serious i've literally shoutcasted probably 700 matches with the guy that's hilarious and we could keep doing it we just we're both just like eh, let's play the game let's stop freaking making everybody else look good right know? right absolutely i understand completely um and and that is an amazing amazing accomplishment um and i i've got to say hats off to you and all of the other amazing streamers that were part of that um you guys just that was awesome um, so i got a question for you for me yeah are you uh are you going to twitchcon what's the deal I can't go to TwitchCon this year. I can't afford it. You got four months to raise $1,400 to go. Yeah, and I also need to come up with $5,000 to help my nephew get a steam shower, too. Oh, shit. All right, I'm just going to be quiet now. Yeah, yeah so. that's that, that right now is my top priority. Yeah, you, KB, you I would totally be there. <laughs> Me. Yeah, I, I would totally. I mean, like, see, can we can we go back to giving KB cancer? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I like KB. I don't want to give him cancer. We'll we'll give like we'll shoot him with paintball guns or something. It'll be funner, more fun. But all right, so normally I would ask what advice you have for other gamers, but. I, I'm as I'm asking you to answer this question I would like for everybody in chat right now to come up with all the questions that you have knowing that DZ is a partnered streamer um, whatever questions that you guys might have for him um, to further your escapade on being like accomplished twitcher we're not gonna um. give Colin cancer either no can we, uh, I'll tell you what, I have a couple little tidbits I tell people. I get this question all the time. I know you do. Uh, I got 15,500 people following me on Twitter right now, mm -hmm. and everybody is always tweeting me the same thing. Uh, what should I do? How do I get started? I really want to pursue this. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, if you're getting into this, is this going to be a hobby or a business? Is it going to be a real thing you're going to do for a, a real income? Are you not going to work? Is that your goal? Okay. Um, well, then you got to start very softly before you start hitting hard. And what I mean by that is don't break the bank. Don't go out and buy all this shit 
and then think your life is going to change when you start streaming. No matter what platform, Twitch, YouTube, uh, Beam, or any of these. Um, you need to focus on your fundamentals. What makes you, you. There's a million people out there with controllers in their hands and the square window with their name underneath it and some goofy thing dancing around on the screen for attention and some beautiful woman's voice, you know, kind of announcing it. <coughs> but, um, <coughs> but, uh, but I tell everybody the same thing. Don't break the bank. Don't have to explain to your spouse that you just blew the mortgage payment on a computer thinking it's going to change everything. Now, don't get me wrong. Start slow. If this is something that you're into doing and you, you, you feel very comfortable doing it or it's a hobby um, or you know you, you really want to take it a step further, set goals. This is, what I, this is honestly what I did for three years. Every month, I would say, hey, at the end of the month, I would like to do this. I would like to be here, and then here, and then here. And set up goals. You know, hey, I want this many followers uh, on Twitch. I want this many on Twitter and on YouTube and on this and this and this. And start casting a net. The wider the net you cast, the more chances you are to have something come back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, social media is the next thing. You need to work just as hard on your Twitter as your Twitch. And then integrate your Twitch so that when you go live, Twitch on your behalf sends a tweet out with your with a link to your channel. It's all in your options. You could do this right now. Um, if you stream natively from a console, um, make sure you have a good headset. I personally use the, I don't think I have it here, I got the $50 Microsoft Stereo one. It works great. I love it. You don't need a $600 Shure SM7B and a soundboard and all this shit. Just a good microphone and a good personality. Um, but yeah, don't break the bank. That's the first thing I tell people. Uh, second, social media. You got to focus on your Twitter um, and start following people that have the same, um, you know, like-mindedness as you. Uh, I, I engage a lot of people on Twitter every day, like hundreds. <sighs> Me too. And and yeah, and I don't. How do I say this the right way? I don't follow for follow. I don't recommend that. What I do recommend is going on Twitter and find people with a healthy, you know, ratio of how many people they follow and how many people follow them and tweet to them. Just say, hey, man, I saw your Twitter. Uh, we share common interests. Would you like to play some time? Maybe multi-stream with me. Um, if you get into the charity circuit, the St. Jude Play Live campaign still going on for another week. Um, I met everybody I'm really tight with for the past three years. My first year of St. Jude, I got partnered with some of these people. Yeah. So that's my other tip. That's awesome. So I know a lot of people, like I hear a lot of people are always like, oh, this is what you have to do when you apply. This is how many people you have to have in your channel. And this is, so what, like what were... The qualifications that Twitch you know, actually every, looks at. You know, that's a baseline that you're re you're referencing, mm -hmm. um, and that's that's literally just a general generalization. Um, it could be different things that I've seen from experience that get you partnered. Uh, you could be a professional in a niche market. Let's say you you broadcast mostly mobile games. Mm -hmm. Are they the top mobile games right now? Uh, do you have a, a decent following? You know, Twitch kind of bends a little, so you don't have 500 people watching you, but you got 80 people watching you. They might turn the other cheek. The other thing you got to do, and this is before you even apply for partnership, you got to make sure you have artwork in your channel information. You got to make sure all your all your vods are turned on. If you're not turning on saving a video on demand to your Twitch account after you're done streaming, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah. Because your video on demand speaks on your behalf when you're not streaming. Second part of that, go into your videos on demand after you've done them, so you're done streaming for the night, go back to the video, make sure there's a nice title, a nice write-up what you did, mm -hmm. and there's tags. Learn more about tagging videos. You can go on YouTube, there's a ton of ways to figure out tags. I use a utility. I look at videos on YouTube and they say, you know, I, I look at the top, uh, let's say Vainglory. I look at the top video about Vainglory right now on YouTube, and uh, using VidIQ, I think that's what it's called, it actually shows me the tags. 
So I reference some of those tags. I won't take them all, but I'll be like, oh, okay, and I put those in my Twitch. Mm -hmm. And now when somebody searches for that in Twitch, those tags are what helps me get the impression. Mm -hmm. So you've got to really focus on video on demand. You've got to focus on social media, too. Don't have a Twitter account with the egg and the generic background and no write-up about yourself. Right. Uh, you got to have a good background, a nice picture. Just just get a face shot. Seriously, just a. Um, <laughs> and make sure you have a bio, and make sure you have a bio with a link in the web address uh, to your Twitch. Awesome. And tweet tweet at least once a day. Yeah. Don't uh, go more than four, but go go at least once a day. Right. Ghost says, "How long did he stream before he applied for partner, and did you get denied? If so, how many times did you get turned down?" I, you know what? I am very happy to have that conversation. Uh, I got denied six times over a year and a half. I've been partnered for over a year and a half now, and I got denied six times before I finally got partnered. You know what it was that got me partnered? I actually went to conventions. I shook hands with people at Twitch. Twitch is super friendly when you go to the conventions, when you go to PAX East and PAX Prime or whatever. They have a goddamn booth right there so you can walk right up and say hey I have questions and sooner or later somebody will answer your question I walked over with a couple other mobile streamers and I said hey we all stream Vainglory and they're like oh that's cool tell me more about your channel well you know and then that's when I so being somewhere in person and a handshake went really really far so that was that was part of the reason why I got partnered after a year and a half that's awesome that's that's really awesome because I know a lot of people that um, you know, like me, for instance, I, I streamed for a week, quit for like six months, and then I started back up. <laughs> That's Cheetos, though. <laughs> Did you see KB was like flaming hot Cheetos earlier? <laughs> um, uh, what is the longest? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I still no, got a turn. No, go ahead and read it. Uh, in the chat, Fates, uh, Fates Game Box 88 writes, what's the longest amount of hours uh, to stream recommended? Okay, length of your stream does not equal quality. Right. I know people that only stream for two hours, but they produce content for those two hours. You know, for 30 minutes, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this. And they put a little bow on it and some bumpers and some graphics and they you know what I mean they they write it out like a script to a movie compared to compared to this for nine and a half hours why isn't anybody following me you know it's just it's because so they're boring it yeah it's, it's quality over quantity right. never in your head think that if you stream for this you know what I mean mm -hmm. instead focus on writing a script pretend you're making a movie and you literally say, for my first 30 minutes, I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to talk about this, and then I'm going to play this, and this is the music I'm going to listen to, uh, which is a whole different conversation. Um, and put a, and then when you're done, take that VOD and fill out all the information. And, and make sure in the VOD you put, here's my Twitter, here's my email. Uh, and yeah, create a second email just for your internet persona. You'd be surprised how many people uh, email me. Uh, and in the beginning, I used to use my personal email address, and I was like, what the? F I got to change this. I ha Yeah, I had to, too. Yeah. Um, Punk has a question for you, too. Um, she said, do they look at how fast your channel is growing as part of the qualifications? You know, Punk, that, that is a great question. Let me, let me answer it with uh, kind, of, kind of a recommendation more than anything. There is a utility that you could start using right now that I highly recommend to people. Where is it? B -b 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 stream, uh, was it Stream Hatchet? Mm -hmm. uh, I, get, I, I pay extra. I actually get the email they send to me with my results. But um, where is it? I have it here. Hold on. Uh, Social Blade. That's it. Okay, guys. So what you want to do, what you want to do is check out socialblade.com. Uh, and what you do is, uh, with Social Blade, it actually shows you uh, your analytics. Now, Twitch gives you analytics, don't get me wrong. But to get the same impression, you have to really drill into it and kind of put things into perspective. Social Blade for free does that all for you. 
The other cool thing is with Social Blade, you could compare your channel to everybody else's channel. Uh, Twitch's, Twitch's API is public. Your information on Twitch is public. Not, not your private stuff, but just you know how many people you had watching you last week. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, now your chat's recorded too. When you watch your replays, you see the chat. Um, so definitely, if you haven't already, check out socialblade.com. Um, oh, thank you, Ghost. I was just going to copy and paste it. Uh, and then the other tool, and this is a go- I want everybody to listen to me. If you're serious about streaming, I want you to listen to me right now. Um, where is it? Stream Hatchet. Okay, so here's, the, here's, here's another cool thing. Stream Hatchet does similar stuff that Social Blade does, but here's the really cool thing that Stream Hatchet does that I yet to see everybody else do. Um, Stream Hatchet will actually look at your video and it will show your growth. Hey, you, you got more people, you got more people, you got more people. You got more right. people, you got more people. I want to know what happened right here. Why did I just lose like 5 or 20% of my people? Yeah. With Stream Hatchet, it, when you click the peak right before it drops, it will actually go to that part of the video. And that's usually the part of the video where you start yelling at somebody or you you get bored. Um, you started drinking too much. Mm-hmm. Uh, you started making, um, I don't know, racial comments or something. You, you did something dumb or something happened. Um, or just something happened. I find Social Blade to be great. I always glance at it uh, and Social Blade actually, I'm sorry, Stream Hatchet. Uh, Stream Hatchet, uh, if you pay them like $5 a month or something, they'll actually send you an email weekly mm-hmm. saying, here's your results for the week. And then you can actually click in and it takes you to the site and shows you where you screwed up or where you did good. You right. know, let's say. Uh, it shows Michelle. what games are better for other games with like your chat. And yeah, I use Stream Hatchet. It's amazing. Yeah. Nope, so go it's on. Stream Hatchet mm-hmm. and Social Blade. Um, Fate has another question for you. What is the best way to get recognized and how to go about it? Uh, all right. Well, first things first, social media. I said it before and I'll say it again. Twitter is your best friend. My Twitch and my Twitter are in a rat race. I got, I forgot how many I got. I think I got 13,600 followers on Twitch. I got 15,600 and something on Twitter. They, they work together. They're always in synergy. They're always helping each other. They're literally yin and yang to me. Um, social media plays a big part. Here's a little tip for you guys, and I only do it when it's like something I really want to promote. Grab your iPhone or your Android. Hey, there's you. Uh, grab your iPhone or your Android, and literally from Twitter, before you go live, like 30 minutes, just record a selfie video of yourself. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm going to be on in about 20 minutes. Here's what we're going to play. I'll see you there. You know what I mean? That goes a long way. I, one thing I learned from uh, working with Gameloft my first year streaming mm-hmm. uh, was about click to, uh, imp- clicks to impressions, I think the term is, or impressions to clicks, whatever. Um, and the thing I, you know, I like doing social experiments sometimes. And the thing I'm learning <laughs> is that I'm learning, and this, this is legitimate, you have an 80% higher click rate on your tweet to your Twitch channel or anything you're trying to promote if you have a graphic. You even have a higher rate if you have an embedded video that's quick. Keep it under 10 seconds. Don't tell your life story. It's not war and peace. You know what I mean? Uh, just keep it under 10 seconds. Hey, I'm going to be doing this. Smile and, and, you know, and be presentable. That's awesome. Um, and Simp, he's been streaming for three years. Um, and for all of you guys that are asking about this, um, when I am done with this interview, you better believe that every bit of this will be highlighted. Um, it will be in my highlights as well as on my YouTube channel as well. So if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, I really don't care if you do or not. Um, I, I'm not ah. a YouTuber. <laughs> However... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? It, 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 it is your friend. Hold on. Stop that. Stop the YouTube nonsense. is my friend. Okay, well, subscribe Stop to my nonsense. YouTube channel below. Here, here's the deal. Here's the, here's the second thing. Remember how I was saying in your settings for your Twitch channel, um, you can link it to your Twitter? Mm-hmm. And you can link it to your Facebook. You know, it just I, says, hey, yeah, I'm here. I, I, yeah, mine are. Okay. The other thing you could do in your Twitch settings is link it to your YouTube. So after you've had your VOD and you filled out everything and mm-hmm. put your tags on it, there's an export to YouTube option. That's yeah. 
and it dumps it right to YouTube, it puts in all the information, then what you do is on your YouTube, you set up your YouTube that once a video has been published, tweet it out with the embedded video. And now everybody, it, 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 automating these steps is your best friend for growing. You know, if you, you have all the software, let it do the work for you. You know, I used to, I used to play for three and a half hours, no shit. And I was always recording a local copy on my studio system. And then I would put it into Adobe Premiere and export from Premiere to YouTube. When Twitch, and, and, and I never knew if it worked right. So I would kick it off at like 11 o'clock. And then when I would get up at 5.30 in the morning to go to work, I would come down and check. And be like, oh, hey, it went out. There we go. I'm going to tweet it. Now, Twitch does all that work for you. Mm -hmm. So it's all automated. You just click a button and you get an email saying the export completed successfully. Congratulations, your mom's box. That's awesome. So Simp wants to know, what do you tell people who get discouraged um, when they're they're uh, taking this down a dedicated path? Uh, that is a great question. This is where you need good friends in the industry. I'm not talking about best friends, but like-minded individuals that share the same <laughs> common interests as you. I have a, uh, I have my circle. Mm -hmm. Rochelle's part of my circle. And then I have my inner circle. And this is basically T Clock, Noob, and like, like two Afro other people. Afro and right. And Afro. Not even Afro. No, not mm. even him yet. But uh, Foul Ferris. Oh, and right. And Vixen. Um, and if I have to escalate something like I really need an opinion, I could call Swifter. You know, the door's always open with him. But um, my, I, I still get depressed. You know? I, I, was just telling, I was just telling T Clock how I was sitting in the bar the other day staring at my studio and I'm like, should I keep doing this? You know, and then and then I'm like, "Fuck yeah! I've worked really hard to get here. I'm gonna create content." Yes, and and if you get discouraged, go watch your previous videos because if you follow these basic steps to creating content and your vods and your YouTube and tweets and you know comments and stuff, go watch that stuff. Oof, it'll <laughs> motivate you. It really will. And find again, get make sure you have a Discord server set up for your channel, by the way, and. And use that to your advantage. You know, have offline meetings. Do at everyone on Discord. At everyone on Discord. Um, hey, let's have a quick talk. And you'd be surprised people show up. Um, so I got to scroll up a little bit. Uh, Ghost said, let's talk about how you use YouTube then DZ, but you already did. Um, and then going down a little bit, uh, Lost in Gaming. Um, Hacker wants to know what kind of shore mic you have because they told him it was a shore, but. I can't see close enough to see which one it is. Sure, sure, sure. No, I'll give I'll give the, uh, sure, I'll, give sure, the audio, sure. I'll give the audio tour. So in my studio, I have three Shure SM7Bs. Mm -hmm. This is the same microphone Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on, Pink recorded her last two albums on, and Howard Stern uses most of the time. Uh, those microphones go into this Yamaha MX XU mixer. It's a 16 channel. Mm -hmm. And then underneath that is a DBX uh, 2660 as an audio processor. And then I have two outputs to two separate Forthrite sound cards. Uh, those, I have two because one goes to my gaming computer and one goes to my streaming computer. So the streaming computer has the stereo one because I really want to make sure my voice sounds great. And then the mono one goes to my gaming computer. So if I'm playing a game on Twitch on my PC and I want to talk shit to the people, I do it on that that output so, right. so. that's awesome what other questions do you guys have for DZ because like I know you guys are all like I know your your growth rate is really changing I gotta tell you 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 and noob I've been really watching mm -hmm. and when I first met you you know you're like a solid eight now you're like almost 30 <laughs> Um, I actually, DZ, you know, you said that a lot of uh, Twitter stuff is going on. Um, I, Ghost and I partnered up and we've been doing, like I told you, a lot of the stuff to help smaller streamers grow. Um, and with that, um, a lot of reaching out and networking is, it's, it's a full-time job for us. Like literally what people, what all of you guys from the safe zone, um, and from DZ's community don't understand about Ghost and I, um, we literally will spend six hours a day just messaging people on Twitter. Um, 
it's it's a full time job, so I understand. Permission to talk. Go. Uh, Arcane, you're coming in a little late, but I want to acknowledge your question. What if one cannot afford high end top gear? Arcane, I'm with you a hundred percent on that question. Let me give you the answer I gave everybody before. I am like a one percent kind of guy in the whole industry. I'm sitting in a twenty thousand dollar studio I built just for Twitch. This is not normal. <laughs> My advice to you, get a good microphone for about 50 bucks. If you got 100 bucks, save up, get a Blue Yeti Pro. Mm -hmm. They're USB, they work great, you plug your headphones into the bottom of the mic. That was the first microphone I ever invested in, and I still recommend it to people. Mm -hmm. But keep it simple. Don't go crazy, put yourself on a budget, and stick to the budget. Because you're going to say to yourself, Here, here's two things when it comes to your budget that I, I, I screwed up in the beginning. I originally, when I was streaming on my Xbox three years ago, I would, I would hook up an Xbox to a shitty capture card or whatever. Um, I would always put giveaway in the title. And I'd give away a $10 Amazon gift card every night I streamed. And it, co it cost a lot of money. And the side effect from that was I ended up getting a good amount of viewers, but 99% of them were the wrong kind of viewers. Right. They would literally just show up and blatantly in the chat, yo, DZ, what's up? Hey, man, um, you going to be doing a giveaway tonight? Oh, no, not tonight. Uh, that's tomorrow night. All right, see you tomorrow. And they'd leave. Or they'd show up and say, hey, did the giveaway happen yet? Yeah, it just happened. Okay, see you tomorrow. You don't need that. So don't give away anything in your channel. You know what you do? You create affiliations with companies like Loot Crate or whoever, whoever – has affili affiliations where you can at least pass on a discount code or a promo code. Right. It costs you nothing, and if if it's a decent affiliation, you even get a little percentage of the sale sometimes. Right. Um, also, you know, look at products that are not being used on Twitch right now as an opportunity to bring into your stream. Uh, one of my favorite products I see on Twitch right now is this. I forgot the name of the company, but it's a beef jerky company. This one streamer. He's got 50 people watching him, but it's brought to you by Jerky Links or whatever, you know? <laughs> uh, that's fucking cool. Yeah, that's uh, one of a kind. I'll, I'll, tell you guys, I'll tell you guys right now, I am working on – I'm in talks with one company, uh, Dollar Shave Club. So I'm trying to get the deal going, and I don't mind talking about it, but – That's cool. Uh, they are on my radar, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So. That's very cool. Okay, so backing up and chat a little bit, Hattie wants to know, is it possible to be like DZ when you're streaming on a budget? Yeah. <laughs> you just answer that question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Master, um, okay, this could be a no-brainer, but I'm in this situation. I'm on a path pretty much alone because my friends either just do YouTube or um, local or do it for fun. How do I do this going solo? Um, Master, I'm going to answer that question. You are never alone when you are in the safe zone, dear. Uh, well, Master, here, here's I'm going to I'm going to push you back a little right now, and I'm going to give you a pep talk. Do you live your life by what these people do, or do you live your own life? Who gives a shit what they're doing? You like streaming. You've already identified it. That's fifty percent of the work right now, and you're showing up, and that's the other part of it. But keep doing what you're doing. Get a free Discord channel set up, download Discord, and put your name out there and start inviting people into your Discord server. Next thing you know, you're talking to all these new people that share common interests as you do, and they like playing the games you play. I've met so many cool people that I talk to every day on Discord that are part of my community. So awesome. I think that I think that'd be a great start. And I'm just giving you some tough love because you shouldn't even talk like that. I think you should forget about what they're doing. And just be like, hey, good job, guys. But I'm going to be over here kicking the cat. You know what I mean? Just get do what makes you happy, not what everybody else is doing. Right. And see, that's and, what and I, I say, say that too. With, <laughs> right. with love. With love. With two thumbs up in love. How um, often should I stream? Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. You are the host. No. Um, go ahead. How often should I stream? As often as you like. You're not getting paid right away for it. You're not partnered. But what you can do, and this is the golden rule I tell everybody. Put your schedule in your channel notes. Create a little icon. Download a free graphic off of Google, and it says schedule. And underneath it, it doesn't matter if it's one day a week or seven days a week. 
put your schedule there. You are not binded by any means to stream more than one, two, three days a week. Whatever you want to do, man. But here's the kicker, and I'm going to prove it to you how this works. If Let's say you only stream Monday nights. That's it, Monday nights. I, I only stream Monday nights, uh, 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, right? After a while, you should be able to gain some momentum where people will start saying, hey, what am I supposed to be doing Monday? Oh, Rochelle! Okay, I'm going to go watch that. You know? It works. Trust me. But it only works if you advertise it. And if you, if you put it there so everybody remembers. Create a free message uh, on Nightbot every 20 minutes in your channel that says, hey, don't forget, I go live this day and this day at this time. Uh, on Twitter, tweet it out a half a day before you go live. Hey guys, just a reminder, it's only 12 noon, but tonight at 8, I'm going to be playing this if you want to join me. And you put a link, and don't forget to put a graphic. Again, graphics get you 80% higher impressions for clicks. That's awesome. So backing up a little bit, Fate said, can you recommend basic stream PC specs? Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Uh, if you're going to focus, uh, are, you, are you on a budget? Let's say you're on a budget then I would recommend at least an i5 chipset with uh, four t uh, 12 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of RAM. But here's the kicker. You guys, it, nobody really knows this unless like they hear it from somebody. All the newer NVIDIA cards that have been coming out since the GTX 770 have what they call CUDA core technology built into them. Mm -hmm. So you got your GPU that has all these microchips, your cores, right? If you use XSplit, Gamecaster, or Professional, or even try it, and you go into your broadcast settings, you could actually tell it, hey, you know what? Don't use my i5 chipset. Use my GPU for rendering my video to, the, um, to Twitch. So again, if you don't have an i7 chipset, but you got a decent video card, like a GTX 770 all the way up to the new 1080, I, I personally have a... Uh, I have a 970 and a Titan in my gaming rig. I just gave T-Clock my old 770, and he's kicking ass with it right now. He's using, he's using it to play the division, and he's using it for rendering his stream. He's live right now. T-Clock's yeah. live. Yeah, T-Clock's live. He's doing it with a hand-me-down video card right. on an i3 chipset. Not even an i5, an i3. Right. Um, Tech said, quick question, should we play one game or play what you want? like what we like here's the deal if you're just getting into broadcasting play what you like if you play one game then you're holding yourself down to that one game and then when you start building up momentum everybody's gonna be like well I thought you were um, I thought you were a Pac-Man streamer why aren't you playing Pac-Man right now what's this what's this uh, Call of Duty shit play what you like what makes you happy don't turn this into something that's going to make you popular. Turn it into something that makes you happy. That's what I tell people. That's awesome. Would DZ recommend being with a stream team or going solo? Uh, you know, strength is in numbers. But, you know, and I, I, how do I say this the right way? Rochelle and I have actually talked sometimes about this. Uh -huh. uh, there is sometimes drama with stream teams. <laughs> so, what I would recommend is find people you really like on Twitch. People that are very polite, whether they're partnered, famous or not. Just find good people. I and like the safe zone. Team, yeah, find <laughs> and and ask them if they are part of a stream team. Just put the feelers out there. The other thing you could do, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Guardian Outpost for this. Um, one of my favorite uh, tags on Twitter, if you guys don't really use hashtags this much. Um, one of my favorite hashtags is support smaller streams, I think it is, or streamers. Mm -hmm. um, use that for something to search for. So right now, go to your, when we're done talking, seriously, everybody, I want you to take notes on this. This is, I'm really trying to help you. Write down hashtag support smaller streamers. And then go to Twitter and search that, hashtag support smaller streamers. You're going to find so many like-minded individuals that broadcast on different networks. And then from there, you could actually engage them and say, hey, I saw your, you did this hashtag. Um, I noticed you play this game. I play this game. Would you want to multi-stream with me? Right. 
Yeah, Strength that's... is in numbers. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys are always, always, always strong with the safe zone because you know we're going to build you up, which we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that later if you'd like, DZ, because I think it's amazing what we're doing. You'd love it, too. Um, yeah. What's, what, what's this question? What's DZ wanting to do ultimately get out of streaming? Is that his question? Hold on. I, I, I'm kind of no. What the simp is asking? What would you like to get out of streaming? Not do you oh, want to okay. get, but what would you like to get out of it? Uh, you know, I'm kind of already getting it. Um, you know what? Let me show you guys. I I showed this to a couple of my friends. So when we finish building the studio, and right now I'm on a laptop, so it's not in high quality and everything. When we finish building the studio, this was my favorite part of building the studio. Let me show you guys something. So right now we are in the green room. This is the bar. This is where everybody hangs out. They drink their Red Bulls. They do everything. And we produce in the studio in here. We have a poker room. But again, here's the studio, right? And here's the green room. I want to show you guys something. I've already gotten what I want out of streaming. It's not being popular. It's not making money. I do well already for a living. It's this. All right? Two years ago, I started streaming for St. Jude. Miss Vixen brought me onto her team, and I've been part of TV Gaming ever since. This certificate appreciation recognizes that our team did over $100,000. This certificate is from the following year, and that's another $100,000. Now, I've already done my fundraising for the year, and I know sure as shit, for this month, I'm going to have another one down here. So, I've gotten what I want already out of it. Now it's about having fun and you know, making friends in the industry and producing content and just having a good time. So I hope that answers your question. All right. Um, let's see. I think we missed one. Um, I've been approached by a friend who has investors who are interested in me. Is this a good quest to take it or is it too soon for small streamers? I guess it would depend on what it is, fate, right? Uh, okay, so, Fate, when you take money from anybody, whether it's a legitimate investor or you borrow money from somebody, you better have a business model. And nothing is guaranteed in life. I would recommend not taking money from anybody. Have fun at what you're doing and surprise yourself. That's my opinion. Oh, another thing I recommend to everybody watching, especially, you know, like all the people that are really trying to do new things, uh, on your iPhone and your Android, you have your notes app. I'm always taking notes. When I have a stroke of genius or, you know, I have a thought, you know, hey, I should maybe, you know, Wednesday night I'm free. Maybe I should do this. Write it down. Trust me. Because then when I get home or I have a moment, I review my notes. And 80% of them I end up putting into production. That's so. good. That's really good. Do you guys have any other questions for DZ? I know you do. Because you guys know if you're out of questions, then we have, like, the fun part. <laughs> And to see if DZ is addicted to video gaming. Okay. So I'll give him a second to see. And DZ, I just wanted to take a second. I'm, I'm going to post your key stop with the damn Cheetos. Oh, shit. Oh, Sim said you're extremely wise. Here, you guys, all of you guys do need to give DZ a follow. Um, I support DZ implicably. Um, I'm the voice of DZ. He's an amazing guy. Um, absolutely love him. I, I wanted to thank you so much for doing this because I know so many people have been asking me um, about this. But Star had a question for you if you wanted to read it. No, you go ahead. Okay. I, say, I don't know if this was asked already, but how did you get, start getting followers? He said that he actually just kind of did it on accident. <laughs> um, yeah, and- I uh, really, short, short, short story, because I've already told it on the stream in the beginning. Um, I was playing DayZ when it first came out three years ago. And with the NVIDIA, cap- the NVIDIA gaming card I had, there was technology built into it called Shadow Play, which I still have. I filled out the stuff, and I created a Twitch account. I'm like, what's a Twitch account? And I, I hit the button, and I start playing DayZ, and in the corner... I see this number going up and down, up and down, and my son walks over. My son, he's a big gamer. He walks over to me. He's like, dude, you know you're live on Twitch with 25 people watching right now. 
<laughs> really? Oh, what? I hit the kicker. I had my webcam running the whole time, and I'm sitting there, I'm picking my nose, and I'm clicking, <laughs> and I'm, you know, and just... <laughs> So I hope that video never gets out. But. Oh, geez. Um, Hacker wants to know, uh, what audio mixer do you have again? Uh, okay, I have a Yamaha MG16XU. It's the 16-channel model. Uh, you don't need to buy that. You don't need to buy that. You could get the simple 4-channel model, dirt cheap, for about 100 and change. Uh, if you're going to have a bunch of people and you, you really want to hook up a couple mics or maybe a guitar or turntables, then go with the 6-channel. I bought this because I knew when I bought it, this was the end game. Mm -hmm. I was going to have four or five microphones, uh, a couple guitars, um, you know, turntables, whatever. So it, it's it's always good to have more. Just don't break the bank. I again, don't blow your mortgage payment on any of this shit. Right. Stream with goals, and I'm serious, man. Like here's an example. Let's say you guys are just getting into streaming, right? You could download free overlays. You could download OBS for free, okay? So congratulations, you already got a, a baseline set up. Um, and let's say you want to get a really nice microphone. You want to upgrade from your shitty, you know, Logitech, you know, whatever that you got at Staples for ten bucks. You want to get like a, uh, a Yeti, you know, for one hundred and twenty bucks, a nice Yeti Pro USB. Uh, go over to Twitch Alerts and start a fundraising uh, amount and put it at the bottom of your OBS. So just say, hey, I'm raising money for a new microphone. All right, and after you know, after a while, you'll have that new microphone. Okay, I'm raising money for an XSplit license. I don't want to use OBS anymore. Okay, you've just raised fifty bucks. Create goals. You would be really surprised if you just subtly put it on the screen once in a while. Take it away, put it back. Take it away, put it back. Uh, and if people are having a great time, call them out on it. Be like, hey, you having fun? All right, well, if you really like what I do and you want to donate a buck or two towards a new microphone, I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, so. Right. Um, Colin wants to know, how does the amount of people that you follow versus um, following you affect you with sponsors um, or with Twitch partners, if at all? You know, um, Twitter, okay, uh, if we're talking Twitch, I only follow people that have engaged me. Or I've met at events in public, or they're part, they're friends of friends. So like, let's say, you know, you're somebody Rochelle deals a lot with, and you start hanging out on my channel, and you're on my Discord, you're playing with us and everything, and you say subtly, "Hey, I stream too." Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Then I'm gonna follow you. God damn it, that's awesome. I only follow like 60 people, but I have 13,000 and something following me. Um, I'm not being a dick. It's just that. Nobody's engaged me. Nobody said to me, you know, hey, can you take a look at my channel? Or, hey, you know, can I play with you? Or, you know. Now, Twitter, I have a whole different, you know, measurement for that. Um, I never follow more than a third ever of the people that follow me. I'm just, it's my rule. I, I don't want to, I don't want somebody to see me on Twitter and be like, oh, this guy follows for follows. Well, no, I don't do that. So if you look, I only follow like 3,000 people, but I have 15, 16,000 people following me. So That's good to know. Yeah, um, never break that, by the way. What were your favorite networking um, events and uh, productive networking events? Okay, so here's the deal. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, what you do, whether it's day-to-day -day shit or whatever, have business cards. The business cards should say your Twitch channel, get a put a graphic on it. I don't care if it's a happy face. Dead serious. You should have your Twitch channel, your handle, your Twitter, and an email address that you've created as a broadcaster so people could contact you. Carry these things with you at all times. I shit you not. Hold on. I shit you not. I carry my laptop everywhere I go with me. And when somebody, somebody starts talking to me about Twitch or whatever, I reach in my laptop and I pull out one of these, mm -hmm. and I hand it to him. It's a simple card. It had my logo on it. It had my email, my uh, my Twitter, and my Twitch. That's it. That's it. Because uh, wasn't it the first? Box. You could get two hundred on Moo.com, I think, for fifty bucks. 
wasn't it the first convention that you went to you went and somebody was like yeah let me have your card and you're like oh, i don't have one and that's how you ended up with cards tell us this <laughs> i've got i just called you out on it i gotta hear it again no well this is why i'm telling you guys to have cards let me tell the story it's two and a half years ago it's new york city comic-con twitch is actually at new york city comic-con for the first time i've been streaming for a year I see all these famous A-listers on stage, I'm there with my 10-year-old daughter, and I go to take a picture of my daughter with the Twitch booth behind her, and I was going to put out a tweet basically saying, you know, future broadcaster or something like that. Who walks right up to me but Swifter? And I'm like, holy shit, I follow this guy, this guy's awesome. He's like, hey, you want to get a, you want to, you want to take, I'll take a photo of you and your daughter. I'm like, oh, cool, man. I'd like to get it with you. Forget the kid, you know? <laughs> but, um, you know, we got our photo together, and he turns to me, and it was just like how I tell you guys. We shared like-minded, you know, work ethic. You know, he's like, oh, you play that? I play this. You follow me? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'll follow you back. Let's uh, come play on my channel sometime, you know? And he turns to me, and then he goes, oh, hey, before you leave, do you have a card? I'm like, No. He goes, you're a broadcaster on Twitch and you don't have a card. No. What did we learn today? So, of course, three months later, I'm at PAX South. And I'm, I, freak, <laughs> I come running right out to him. I'm like, hey, I got a card. He's like, yeah, but I already know who you are now. So don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's hilarious. Everybody in here is like, will you look at my channel? Will you look at my channel? Will you look at my channel? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, the small soldiers. I can't even read Blue Cheetos, though. <laughs> Are you having a little bit of orange problem today, DZ? Dude, I got Cheetos, <laughs> Pepsi, and sugar-free Red Bull. <gasps> Red Bull? Red Bull gives you wings. Have you tried the new summer edition of Red Bull? The green? Uh, yeah, no thank you. Really? Or the, or the blueberry one. I don't no, like the blueberry. The, the kiwi twist was, oh, I loved it. It was delicious. No thank you. <laughs> I thought it was delicious. My favorite, though, is still the yellow. I'm, I'm, I'm sponsored by Red Bull, so... Um, but until I, I hey, turned, Red Bull. but I turned down um, stream sponsorship because I told them with them being as large of a company as they are and as poor quality as my stream was at the time um, that I didn't feel comfortable putting their name on garbage. So once I have better internet, <laughs> the offer is still there. You can yell at me later, as I know it's coming. <laughs> but they agreed, because at the time I only had like 500 followers. And now I've got 15, and that was only a couple months ago. So. Don't look at me like that, DC stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm speechless. You know, that's like saying you have a supermodel that wants you to take them out to dinner. <laughs> And you say to them, "Oh, I don't have good clothes, so I don't want to. I don't want to have dinner with you." <laughs> it's. I'm just. Ugh. Oh my god! I wish we had your trombone song right now. Uh, it'd be a sad trombone. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> but I mean, like, no. But seriously, that was like when I had my old computer, and like, literally. You could barely even see anything because it was so pixelated, and it was like it was really, really horrible. And I really wanted to give them the best, um, the best quality that I could. And it, for you guys that are whispering to me, you do realize that everybody can see the whisper on the stream, right? <laughs> you guys can all see the whispers. It's like. A supermodel wants to take me out to dinner and pay? What? <laughs> Alright, um, do you guys have any more questions for DZ? Because otherwise we have, um, we have our addiction to go through. Hold 
don't look at me like that. You can yell at me later. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> but you I mean, know, you, I have, this, you I understand, this, though, right? I got this winning lottery ticket, but you know what? I don't think I need the money, but yeah, I'm just going to rip this up. Yeah, well, it wasn't... What is your question, Arcane? I haven't seen your freaking question. Oh, as far as as those sp that have sponsors, is it good um, approach to go with if there's a game we just love to play that we're addicted to, or broadcast the what game that we want to okay, play? Okay, let's 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 take a step back for a minute. Um, there are terms you need to learn in the industry. Um, a sponsor is one thing, but it, there's affiliations, sponsors, and paid promotions. Mm -hmm. So an affiliation is where you get maybe a commission of sale um, by giving a promo code with a link. Here's an example. If you go to my channel and you type in exclamation point loot, you get a 10% discount on Loot Crate subscriptions. Mm -hmm. um, if I have X amount of people that actually get subscriptions, I get a few bucks. Whatever. That's an affiliation program. Um, or if you run their ad, they give you something, you know. Um, and then there's actual sponsorships where you are paid uh, to play a game or promote something. And then finally, you have the full-blown paid endorsements where if you're on, let's say, the front page of Twitch, you'll notice that some people have a little thing in the corner. That represents they're getting paid to play the game itself. So That's good to know. Um... Meta said, what are some key ways to self-advertise and self-promote without spamming? Also, the best way to find your niche with games that you stream. Okay, well, you kind of, you, I, I could tell by your, your question already that you've already, you know, given yourself discipline. And I, I see where you're going with that. So, uh, the, best, the best way to self-advertise is make the streamer happy you're a part of his stream. That's honestly, if you if you know if you have a streamer that has forty people watching and you're new to streaming, and you hang out in their channel and they like having you around, sure as shit they're gonna be like, hey, check out Rochelle. Uh, oh, by the way, we're done for the day, so we're gonna host Rochelle. Make sure you give Rochelle a follow. That's the best way to do it. I have, I've made a lot of friends in the industry, and you know there have been times where I'm doing whatever, and you know some A lister drops eight hundred people randomly in my channel. Um, so that's my advice for that. Don't ever self-promote. Uh, always ask if you can provide a link. Don't be trolly when you ask because everybody's always defensive when they first get to know you. Uh, and if, if somebody has a Discord server, you break a lot of ice if you're actually talking with them over Discord. So, you know, don't join my Discord, let's say, and then during the first day on stream be like, oh, by the way, can everybody go to my channel? Is it okay with you if you can tell people to go to my channel? Don't do that. But show up, have fun, make people enjoy having you around, and they'll promote the shit out of you. And if they don't, then they don't appreciate you. All right. Um, Cap says, uh, your biggest inspiration, who is your biggest inspiration and your biggest supporter, friends or family? Uh, you know, it's a great question. Uh, well, when I first started watching Twitch after I, I found it, uh, I started watching Duck Sauce and Miss Vixen. And Miss Vixen, because she's awesome, uh, you know, put, put a thing out there saying, hey, if you're a new streamer and you want to be part of Team V Gaming to help fundraise for St. Jude, uh, you know, we'd love to you know, have you audition. And all these people auditioned, I, I fundraised, and then I actually got invited to be part of the team. Uh, and who is my... Well, yes. Who's my who's my role model? What was the second? Your part? biggest supporter, friend, or family? Uh, biggest supporter, friend, or family? It'd probably be T Clock. Uh, T Clock uh, has always been watching from the shadows, and now he actually streams on Twitch after three years of me doing this. And he's doing amazing. And dude, he's he's. I can't say it, but we're about to do some next level shit too. Like he he's got something in the works that is just nuts. So. Um, and the beta he's playing with right now, which really is cool. So, yeah, um, Mr. Cryptic, I have a question. Do you play indie games? And if you do, what do you look for in an indie game? I'm an indie game developer, and I would like to start making connections with streamers, but I really don't know how. That um, is, 
Oop, go ahead. He said, um, I don't want to just tweet about it um, to a million people because I feel as though it looks bad. Uh, no, it doesn't look bad. Just be humble with what you're doing. Uh, what I would recommend to you, I said this before, there is a hashtag on Twitter. Called, it's uh, hashtag support smaller streamers. What I would do is say, hey, everybody, I'm an indie developer, uh, and I'm looking for streamers that might want to play my game. You know, message me for a Steam code and put a graphic uh, with a link to your channel and use the hashtag support small streamers. You'd be surprised. A lot of people uh, would probably reach out to you if you, if you pitch it right. right. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Uh, I personally like independent developers more than A-list titles because right. I know for a fact if I play Call of Duty, I'm not going to get anybody from Activision or Sledgehammer to come on my stream. I know if I play an indie title that I could probably get you to come on my stream and take phone calls and tell me your life story and how you got into what you do. So Rochelle, hint, hint, I think this person in your chat you should be interviewing and not me. Well, we'll have to set up a time. Um, Mr. Cryptic, if you uh, get a hold of me. Um, uh, Colin, will you whisper him my Discord? Give him my personal Discord if you could, please. Um, and something else that you guys could do too, and actually the link is listed below um, for you, Mr. Cryptic. Uh, Collection Gaming Network, CGN. Again, below. Click on my link. Add me as a friend. It's a great network to find other gamers. And that's, I, I don't know if you're on CGN or not too, um, DZ, but like I love it because you could go on there and you could go look at somebody and you can actually if they're streaming you can actually watch their stream on their CGM page I will bookmark this create account tomorrow morning yes um, and actually you can click on mine below um, I'm actually friends with uh, a couple of the founders um, one of them is from Ohio and we're putting together a Ohio CGN meet and greet um, so we'll talk about that a little bit more too uh, really quick, if you are uh, a Twitch broadcaster or you're just a big fan of Twitch and you live in the New York City area, uh, Swifter does meetups every month in New York City. Uh, we just did one last Saturday at Barcade and there were 50 people. And this Saturday we're actually having another meetup at the Microsoft Store. Uh, oh, are and you going to stream? Actually, I might actually be streaming from the Microsoft Store. Might. Um, it depends on the situation. It's I think it's to promote Overwatch or the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So if you guys want, come to that. That's on Fifth Avenue in New York City. It's gonna be a good time. That's awesome. That's really good. Um, let's see. I know we have a couple of different questions in here. Um, I like captains. Let's let's do captains. Okay, go ahead. Like uh, Captain's writes, uh, what's the best way to deal with people that troll or disrespect people? There's a guy in the chat, his name's KB512, and he has a sniper <laughs> rifle. Uh, he loves shooting trolls in the head. No, here's the deal. Um, first off, don't let trolls get to you. They feed on that shit. Um, instead, uh, well, here, I'll, I'll divide it up into two parts. This is a great, great way to look at it. Uh, first off, if somebody is trolling you, that's one thing. If they're harassing you or your viewers, that's another just click on their name in chat, click report, put in what they did, and then if they come back with a new ID after you ban them, around the, th the fourth or fifth time, you just keep reporting them, uh, Twitch might ban their IP address, and then they won't even be able to come back. Right. And so. see, this is, this is what I tell everybody, especially all of you guys that are smaller streamers. Um, you know, when you're smaller, you're going to get a lot more trolls than after you've kind of started growing a little bit and stuff like that. Um, but one of the really important things that you need to know is like the other day I had one come in and he's like, oh, you're such a bitch and you're so this and you're so that. And I'm like, hey, you know what? Thank you Why, so much for you. being here. I love the fact that you're here giving me an extra view. And then everybody's like, where are your mods? And I'm like, yeah, don't even worry about him. If he bothers you, just go ahead and hit that little button that says ignore user. So then the guy got bored and he left, okay? didn't give him the reaction he was looking for and really all he did was boost my numbers so that there were more people watching me which kind of put me up just a little bit higher than the person I, underneath uh, of me i have the best 
trolling story ever. Yes, please. Uh, this this was fucking awesome. It happened about a, it was when the last Batman game came out. Yeah. Uh, Fala Ferris, who's one of my best friends in the industry, um, he he knew he might get trolled sooner or later, so he set this up where uh, like a yay sound effect with you know prize music would go off. He had a guy come in his chat at the beginning of the stream, and Ferris had like thirty people watching. And the guy's like, you're a fathead. You know, like, you're, you're a fucking loser and this and this and this. And he's like, oh, my God, that's the, that's the word. And he, he hits the button and you're, yay. And the prize <laughs> music goes, no, seriously, seriously, I don't mind that you trolled me right now. You just want a free copy of Batman, you know, the last Batman game that came out. And this guy changed his tone in a second. So he goes to the guy. He goes, um, he goes all right, what uh, – what, I'll, I'll I'll send you the key right now via Twitch, and it's a fake key. And the guy the guy's like, "Oh, this is awesome! I got the key." And this is after he told Ferris like to go die, basically. So um, Ferris just with a grin on his face for an hour. The guy comes back. He goes, "Hey, sorry to bother you, uh, but the key didn't work." Oh, I'm, uh, you know what? I got a couple extra keys. Don't worry about it. Try this one. <laughs> the guy goes back. He tries another key, and it doesn't work. Ferris basically does this with the guy for three hours straight. And we're all laughing hysterically because we know what he's doing, but he can't say he's doing it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he's like, what are you talking about? I got any, he had like a fake, he had like a fake sheet with numbers written on it to pretend that that's all the keys he got from the, from Warner Brothers. (laughs) So finally at the very end, he says to the guy, he goes, did you, did your key work? And the guy goes, no, not yet. He goes, well, let me give you a life lesson. You would have actually got a free copy of the game, but because you came in spreading hate, I've been just teaching you a lesson for three hours. And <laughs> and now, here's the funny part. He took the VOD and edited it, you know, dumped it over to YouTube, and then tweeted it out the next morning. And it was the best highlight video ever. That's so. awesome. That's, yep. that's really awesome. Let's see. I know there were a couple other ones. Uh, Faker donation trolls. Uh, Really quick, I got an answer on that one. Uh, All right, first off, um, your PayPal account that you have linked to your tips program, whatever you use, uh, you know, Twitch alerts or whatever, for free, as long as you're over 18, I believe, you could upgrade it to a business account. And so before my first year on Twitch, when you would give me a donation, it would actually say that you gave me my actual name and my personal email address a donation. So I went to my PayPal and I upgraded it for free to a business account. And now it says you've donated to DZ Live on Twitch. Thank you. And it actually uses my DZ Live email, not my personal. So that's something you should really set up right away if you're going to take donations, just for your own privacy and security. Uh, do it for just do it because um, there's a lot of weird people out there. Uh, as for uh, getting money back, like fake donations, um, depending on what service you use for your tips, uh, some of them actually have protection. Now, I believe I use Twitch Alerts. I think that does have protection, while some other ones don't. Go do your homework. There are, and, and stick with that one, trust me. They might charge you a little more for that, though, like you know, 5% compared to 3% or whatever. But let's be honest. You're not making thousands of dollars right now if you're just starting out. So start out smart and get the right amount of money from your tip compared to streaming like a fool and getting all the money and then they know your personal information. Right. I hope that, I hope that helps you. Right. That's that you have been so helpful and like the feedback that I've gotten from all of you guys tonight has just been amazing. Um if you guys do have any more questions for DZ, please do feel free to shout them out right now. However, we are running low. Mr. Cryptic, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my madness, darling. Um, um, but we are running short on time because, as you guys know, at uh, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we will be going over to we'll be going over to uh, Ghost GT 27 stream. Um, but if you do have any questions, please feel free to post them. Right now, though, we're going to start in to see if DZ is addicted. For those of you guys that this is your first time catching one of my interviews, this is how this works. I'm going to ask DZ these questions. 
based on his answers and feel free in the chat to answer the questions along with us because this is so much fun. Um, based on the answers to DZ's questions, we're going to leave it up to you guys to determine whether DZ <laughs> is addicted to video gaming or not. Okay, so here we go. DZ. <laughs> Do you often relive gaming experiences or think about future ones? Uh, uh no. No. <laughs> Do you or did you ever hide or lie about your gaming? Yes, <laughs> and I still do. I still do. <laughs> um do you get very angry when someone or something interrupts a game? Like, comes in the studio or I lose internet? No, either. If someone or something interrupts a game. Uh, well, uh, my wife used to just come right into the studio and start talking to me mm -hmm. live in front of like 100, 200 people. So <laughs> I put a lock on the door, so that fixed that. Um, <laughs> and as for internet, no, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Um... Have you ever taken a break from gaming and then binged uncontrollably upon your return? Uh, yes, when certain A titles were released. Uh, perfect <laughs> example was Doom. Uh, when Doom <laughs> came out, I actually didn't want to stream it. I just wanted to play it. P-Base. Uh, P-Base, are you thinking about video games right now? No, P-Base, I'm thinking about you naked. Ooh. Um, when you're up or when upset, do you soothe yourself by playing video games or plans to play video games, or do you just uh, eat yes. Cheetos? Yes, I like escaping into video games, and sometimes I even have some Cheetos. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Um, hold on one second. Mom, the meatloaf. <laughs> right. You want it now? The meatloaf. No, I'm going to answer all the questions because I don't know. I'm talking to somebody. Um, do you find yourself gaming early in the morning? Uh, no. If I had to take a train into Manhattan, then I'd probably be playing mobile games on the train. But I'm, no, not in the morning. That no, just answers. I, I, I've been doing it all night, so I don't want to get up and even think about video games. Right. No. Well, that just answered the next question. Do you find ways to game when away from home? Well, let me just tell you right now that you would never want to hold this iPhone because I play Vainglory at like three battle rails on a toilet at lunch. So, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you play to relieve stress as orange? Yeah, and I relieve many different things when I play it. Right. Um, Power oh. Crunch, if you're trying to use the shout me command, it only works if you're a follower. Um and it's on a time, uh, a cooldown as well. So, um, do you set limits with gaming and then break them <laughs> playing hours longer than intended? Uh, yes. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I go live at 8 o'clock. I prep at 7.30. I start streaming at 8. Music goes on. Da -da 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 -da, and then I try to stop at 10.30, sometimes 11. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's something exciting, then I'm like shoutcasting with KB or I'm just really enjoying the game. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll stay up a little later. KB that poop and play. <laughs> This is a common th this is a common um, conversation in DZ stream by the way the poop and play. <laughs> um, uh, Power Crunch, thank you for the follow. Welcome to my madness, man. Do you lose hours of sleep to game? Uh no, I actually I think I'm getting a little more mature with my gaming mm -hmm. where I actually now say to myself, "Nope, it's 11:05." I gotta go to bed. And then I do social media in bed for like five minutes and then I pass out. So, no. Have you called in sick or late to work so that you could game? Uh, let me check your chat, make sure none of my coworkers are watching. Yes. This will be on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> nah, I, uh, you know, true story. Uh, uh, not where I am now, but about 10 years ago, uh, the video game industry releases most A-list titles on Tuesdays. Mm. 
And I had a lot of coworkers I used to work with 10 years ago that were gamers. Mm -hmm. And I always put in for the Tuesday whatever major game was coming out. So they'd be like, it's Tuesday, where is he? Ah, shit, the new Call of Duty came out. Right. Ah, shit, Halo came out. I know why he's not here. Um, not anymore, though. You know, now the whole thing is I have so much time off with work that I just don't use it. Mm -hmm. Because, and I stream already at night, so it's, you know, it's like, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm halfway into Doom. Everybody else is beating it 20 times, but I'm enjoying it, mm -hmm. and I'll get to it when I get to it. That's awesome. So, have you sworn off a game, uninstalled it, and then came back to it later? Uh, yes. League of Legends. <laughs> uh, I think it was League. And no, I think it was League of Legends. It's the only one. Now, I've I've purchased games where I've been like, this is utter shit, on, um, and completely uninstalled it in the middle of the stream. I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. I can't even play this game. That's I've had that funny. happen. That's hilarious. Do you feel guilt and shame around your gaming? No, but around my family. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I don't. I, uh, no. Does... Oh, hey, really quick tip. For all the male streamers out there, try to get as many women with beautiful voices on your Discord. Let me tell you right now, when Michelle starts doing her thing on the uh, the voiceover, everybody's like, "Whoa, who's that?" I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep watching. I don't know what this is, but I have an erection. I gotta keep watching. <laughs> yeah, um, Ghost actually, since we partnered up, he's been like, "Wow, you know, everybody comes to my stream for you, so you need to just stay in my Discord and talk to me the whole stream." And I'm like, <laughs> Fallout or Skyrim? Skyrim. Oh, but Skyrim, the viewers that you get from Skyrim are horrible. No, no. See, this is this falls under the whole, are you doing this to do what you enjoy, or are you doing it to get viewers? Right. Because if you play Skyrim on the PC and you download the, the Macho Man Randy Savage mod, that's the shit. I need that mod. Yep, I, do you have it? Because I, I will totally, I will totally stream that. That would be freaking awesome. Absolutely saw us the best hero ever period yeah next question okay um does gaming contribute to arguments in your relationship it did until i got partnered and a big check came from twitch every month <laughs> you're like yeah i remember i true story i'm getting a little personal here but i don't mind sharing it i knew that i started i i knew twitch was starting to go in the right direction when i literally after being a partner for a year turned to my wife and said hey you know what my supplemental income from twitch Here's the title to your car. I just paid it off. That's awesome. Did and you then she literally, and, and her, my wife is beautiful and smart, but in her infinite wisdom, she turns to her best friend, and she goes, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. And she's like, dummy, your husband just paid your car off. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ghost said, why do you think I partnered up with her? <laughs> yeah, sure. Use me, Ghost. Use me all you want, baby. Alright. <laughs> uh, no Man's Sky at launch? Absolutely. And play some really chill music while you play it. I want that game. I think that game is going to be great. That's awesome. Um, has gaming taken the place of hobbies or sports that you used to enjoy? Yes. I used to own a lot of sports cars and I used to go racing. I still have a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the conversation I have with a lot of people these days, I'm 41 years old and uh, a lot of my friends, you know, I say to them, you know, hey, most guys my age buy a Corvette or a Porsche and cheat on their wives and travel around the world. I come home, I hang out in my studio, I play video games, produce content, raise money for sick kids with cancer. So what do you got to say about that? And everybody backs right off as soon as I say that. So. Yeah, right? Um, do you forget appointments, responsibilities, or deadlines when gaming? Uh, no, just the opposite. Uh, if you have a, PD, a PDA, oh my god, I sound so old. <laughs> if you have an, an iPhone or an Android, there is no need to miss an appointment. Put everything in your calendar and set a reminder ahead of time to remind you. If anything, I forget to do things as part of my stream schedule and not my work schedule. That's funny. All right, do you become irritated and defensive when people suggest that you might be gaming too much? Uh, no, because I show them the plaques hanging outside the office and I tell them to go fuck themselves. Next question. <laughs> How many hours, or have your hours spent gaming increased over time? 
Uh, actually, they've declined. Um, I I used to go by, and this is why I was saying to the, the viewer before in the chat, I used to go by the whole, if I stream as much as possible, I'm going to grow the quickest. No, I'm not. I believe quality over quantity. So now I tell myself, you go, you prep at 7.30, you go live at 8, you stream to 10.30, 11 o'clock the latest, and then you hand over the stream to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I do. I, I literally, and you know, like DZ said this a couple of times tonight. When Back I started. Back day, we didn't have them PDA. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, when I started streaming, I, I did literally every Thursday, I would stream for four hours on Thursday, and that's it. Here's what you do. And I'm not in the best shape, but believe me, I still try to hit the gym. Here's what you do. Instead of streaming for seven hours, stream for three, mm -hmm. and then go for a jog. Mm -hmm. You're done when you're done running. You're gonna or go for a walk if you're not in the best shape. When you're done going for that walk, you're gonna be so clear-minded, and then you can focus on your stream for the next day. Exactly. And always take notes. I'm dead serious. Take notes. You know what I do right now on the way to work? I listen to my favorite radio show in New York City. And I'm always listening to like their production. Like, okay, so at this moment, this person talks about this, and then they play this music, and they roll this bumper, and then this person talks about this. This is where I'm going with my Twitch stream. Like, if, if you watch my production, especially when I have people in the studio, that's where I'm going. So I recommend to you who's just getting into this, don't stream like crazy. Stream smart, and then when you're not streaming, think about what you could be doing on your stream the next day. Right. And seriously, just go clear your head. Go for a walk. It does wonders for you. Right. Yeah. See, and I, I only do like maybe three, four hours a day, and that's it. Um, and then every day before and after our streams, Ghost and I have a short little meeting about, hey, what are we going to do? And, hey, what do we got to do tomorrow? Or what do we do need to, you know, to prep for tomorrow? So, like, I have this notebook that is literally like, well, it's like full of notes. <laughs> Um, do you blow off social events to game? No, because most of the social events I do now is are Twitch meetups or, you know, charity events. Um, you know, I, I admit I should be doing more of my family, which I've been focusing on this summer more than ever. So, That's you know, instead of streaming in a Saturday afternoon, I'm at some Girl Scout event or something. Yeah, but, well, it's 1047. You know, DZ used to eat brownies. <laughs> Mm. Oh, ow. <laughs> when he, <laughs> the, those Cheetos, though. <laughs> Have you lost contact with friends and family since gaming? Uh, yes. Uh, you mean with Twitch and everything? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but I've gained even cooler friends in the industry. Exactly. That's that's very very true. Um, do you have intense feelings, highs, lows, angry, or fear while you're gaming? No, believe it or not, I, I, I'm on autopilot when I stream. <laughs> I really am. I, I'm, I'm on autopilot. But this no. is not while you're streaming. This is while you're oh, gaming. While I game? Yeah. Uh, only when I play horror games. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I, when I played Outlast and the, the prequel for the first time, uh, it did, it did mess me up. By the way, kids, uh, warning. Uh, Outlast, if you haven't played it yet and you want to play a horror game, uh, seriously, it has a lot of front, uh, male frontal nudity. So you're going to see a lot of ding-dongs in that game. So I don't recommend playing it if you're not you know, an adult. Mature um, enough, right. We were, uh, we were during the charity stream uh, playing Sophie's Choice. And no, 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 Sophie's Curse. Sophie's mm -hmm. Choice is a movie. <laughs> uh, Sophie's Curse. Mm -hmm. And... The photos just got put up on Twitter that T Clock took during the stream, and that game scared the living shit out of me. It's four dollars on on Steam if you haven't bought it yet. If you want a great game that's gonna scare the shit out of your viewers, Sophie's Curse. It's four bucks. I need to write that Warning. down. <laughs> I, I want to tell you guys right now because this happened to me once already. If you play horror games on your stream, and you know it's gonna have a lot of jump scares, tell your viewers ahead of time to seriously take their iPhone or iPad if they're watching. And set it down, so you're not holding it because you're gonna. They're gonna chuck it. I had somebody yell at me because they broke their screen. I'm like, not my fucking problem. <laughs> That's like, so you know, funny. They, and I and I have a mortgage. Is that your problem? You know, it's like. Yeah. No, that's so funny. I actually, um, a ghost just said that I'm, 
I'm no longer just a variety streamer. I <laughs> guess it's like that's Shell's next game. I'm not. He's he said I'm not just a variety streamer anymore. I am a horror. I have to say it like that because people misinterpret. I am a horror streamer. So. Um, I think uh, I think Oculus mm. and VR with horror games is gonna be like one of the next things on Twitch. Next I can't. Thing. I hope that I can afford one someday. That would be amazing. All right, we have a few more <laughs> questions. Um, All right, speed round. Yeah. Right. Do you eat while you're gaming or forget to eat Never. while you're gaming? Yes. Okay. I never eat when I'm gaming because, I mean, guys, seriously, I'm already a fat ass. <laughs> I'm out of shape. But um, I I don't add to my value on camera by scarfing down something. If, you, if you're going to be streaming for a long period of time and you get a little hungry, um, just turn off your camera. And, and you know, just pl keep doing what you're doing. Just turn the camera off. And okay. then turn it back on. It'll be like, oh, you were eating? Yeah, I was eating. Oh, okay. And then whatever. Yeah. Trust me. Right. Don't eat on camera because the internet is evil, and people will take pictures of that and make memes out of you. Yeah. You heard me. Yeah, right? Okay. Um, we already know the answer to this question, but a simple yes or no. Are most of your friends gamers? Yes. <laughs> Are gaming stories one of the most exciting topics of the conversation for you? Uh, no. Do you read many game-related guides and articles? You know, I I was just in a Barnes and Noble for the first time in like five years, mm -hmm. and one of my favorite things when I used to go to Barnes and Noble in the '90s and early 2000s was reading all the video game magazines mm -hmm. and the the car magazines. And it was always like you'd you'd find out about this really cool game in this month's IGN or something. Now with the internet, I find everything out in five seconds, and I'm walking through the magazine aisle. I'm like, who reads this shit? You know, like, <laughs> oh wait, I used to. You know. You know, uh, you know what? After this, I think I'm going to go to Blockbuster Video and rent a VHS tape. You know, it's like, uh, I think I'm going to go to GameStop and physically buy a video game. I mean, it, it's like we're going there, people. Right. So, hope that answers your question. Yeah, absolutely. So, do you have, or do you fear a life without gaming? Uh, no. No. Gaming has always been part of my life. I've been playing video games since 1980. Um, and I'll play them until I'm dead. I'm, you know, I, I think it's funny when like people your age, my age, P Base's age. You know, when we're in the nursing home and eight, when we're eighty, and so we're, we're gonna seriously be streaming from our bedpans. You know, it's, it's, right? It's yeah, no yeah. shit. <laughs> you know, there were, there were shells in the other room, but uh, you know, I'm playing this Fallout 15, and oh my god, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Nurse! 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 Nurse. Nurse. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I got a poop! Okay, so anyways, welcome back to Fallout 15. So. Hey, DZ, what the fuck are you doing? I got a poop! <laughs> Somebody come wipe my ass! <laughs> Sorry, folks. Back to the game. That's hilarious. All right. Do you feel irritated and restless when away from games for a few days at a time? Uh, no, because I take advantage of the situation to decompress. Do you envy people who can game in moderation? Uh, what does that mean exactly? Like, Well, like, you game in moderation, so probably not. Uh, yeah, I do envy them because those are the people that, again, don't go by the whole... I got to stream every day of the week for 12 hours a day to hopefully get partnered, to hopefully make a few bucks. Mm -hmm. So stream in moderation, guys. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, do you prefer... Your face, your face is green on your stream right now. Your, your green it? screen is black. Hold on. Where? You look like your brains are popping out of your head. I am like... I oh. <laughs> Here, let's fix that real quick. Uh, the stupid freaking thing... It's because you know, it's... back in my day, we didn't have a green screen. No, <laughs> we used to have a brown screen. We <laughs> and wipe it on the wall. Don't judge me. You tell your grandmother I said hi. Oh fuck my life! God damn it, Rochelle. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Somebody come wipe my ass. <laughs> I don't think they heard me. I said, can somebody call my my ass? I have to poop. By the way, the new Fallout rocks. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Um, do you 
prefer your game character identity over your own. You know, it's funny. It's starting to become my my own identity. <laughs> you know, it's like I got the nickname DZ uh, when I was a teenager. I used to work at a bar. Uh, my family was in the bar business, so I, I'd wa- I'd work at the bar, and people would just walk in, and be like, "Yo, DZ! Oh, he's here! Oh, cool!" And it's always stuck with me. DZ is the first two letters of my last name, so it's always been my nickname. Mm-hmm. Uh, so to actually make it my persona for gaming and social media, it's kind of cool. That's awesome. Um, have you ever stolen anything to provide for your gaming needs? No, I've only, you know, I could say this with honesty in life, and I didn't have a mother, and my father was always busy, so I was kind of like a, what, you know, you know what's funny? They used to call us latchkey kids. Yeah! We, we would get off the bus, and nobody was home for six hours, because mom and dad had to work until eight o'clock at night, and you right. had to fend for yourself. Now, you're a bad parent if you do that. Right. But back then, we latchkey kids. And growing up as a latchkey kid, uh, I lived near a Caldor. And I only stole one thing in my whole life. I stole a G.I. Joe Zartan action figure from Caldors when I was eight years old. <laughs> only thing I've ever stolen in my life. True story. Oh, that's hilarious. You see what Dark Sir, what a small soldier just said? Nurse, hurry up. Nurse, hurry up! <laughs> I'm on the dog sound! 34 later, boss, and I gotta. Hurry <laughs> up! <laughs> oh, shit. Don't wipe my ass. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, I do scary know you, and I know you. Oh, wow. Um, do you think that life would be much better without video games? Absolutely not. Put a bullet in my head. Next question. <laughs> exactly. Do you find yourself bored with almost everything else in life besides games? No. Okay. I actually just started gardening this summer. Oh, like, that's so I, much fun. I, Instead of paying people to do my yard work, I actually go out and, like, I'm weeding around my hot tub and, like, I'm putting anti-acid-based plants around my house. Right. I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> Not at all. Um, I'm friends with I'm friends with one celebrity on uh-huh. Twitter because we have mutual friends and we know each other. And she was asking me today about uh, plants publicly and I was replying to her. And then we started having this whole side conversation. So I'm not going to say who it is, but go look on Twitter. I will. Anyways. That's awesome. Um, have you put spending on games ahead of your financial responsibilities at any point in your life? Yeah, I ruined a credit card. Uh, but no, now, you know, you you kind of plan out the quarter mm-hmm. in our industry. So you're like, okay, well, I'm going to buy two copies of Overwatch. I'm going to buy one copy of this. I'm going to buy this. So that's... Four hundred dollars for three months. That's my budget. Right. Uh, so I have a budget. And the other cool thing is, and I've told you guys this before. Seriously, if you're a new streamer, don't buy your games. Uh, reach out to independent developers and play indie games. They get a lot of traction if you if you play your cards right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you play an indie game for an indep- independent developer, you know what you could do that would really make their day. Show them your Twitter impressions. Even if it's like fifty people, it goes a long way. Uh, show them the the uh, stream hatchet views for your channel and and you know just I have this template basically where um, if somebody says hey I would want you to p- play my game I when I'm done playing it I actually send them an email saying here's the results for 24 hours from my Twitter here is my stream hatchet snapshot from when I streamed your game mm-hmm. and here's the 24 hours after on YouTube these three things will make a world of a difference to an independent developer. And you know what that independent developer is going to say at PAX when they talk to other independent developers? Oh, shit. You got a game? I got a streamer. This, this woman, Rochelle, oh, my God, look at this. She sent me an email with, like, these things, and she did this for me, and I didn't pay her a penny. And next thing you know, they are recommending you to the next person, the next person, the next person. And next thing you know, you might be interviewing them or doing a photo shoot with them. So, and these are simple things you could do to grow your channel right away. That's awesome. Have you gained yeah. weight since becoming a par- a gamer? Fuck you, 50 pounds. Next question. <laughs> Have you felt remorse after gaming binge? No. Have you ever suffered any physical pains from intense gaming? Uh, one time I sharded on my stream. Does that count? <laughs> yes. I thought I was gonna be funny towards the end of one of my streams. And I was gonna fart into the microphone uh, when I was on Discord with Ferris on Jesus. camera, and I threw mud. Not gonna lie. I actually threw mud. 
Have you ever or have you suffered more financial problems since obsessing over gaming? Uh, not gaming, but equipment. Try to explain to your wife why you just dropped seven thousand dollars on soundproofing and glass and walls and yeah. <laughs> and, and, unless your wife is someone cool like me. Yeah. And then I totally understand. Um, uh, when you want to spend time with friends, do you invite them to come over to game? Uh, I do, and a lot of them are too cool for me. Um, here's, a, here's a quick story. Uh, one of my best friends, I'm not going to say his name, uh, works for um, CBS, uh, CBS Radio. And he handles marketing for one of their big sports talk shows. And he said to me three years ago when I started streaming on Twitch that eSports is stupid. This is never going to take off. Fast forward a year and a half later, it was the first Heroes of the Dorm, mm -hmm. and they had it on ESPN3. Okay. And he's like, oh my god, I hate this, but I can't stop watching it. And now, we were fundraising, we had, a, we had a party here, and he shows up to the party, and he's like, you know what? This is really fucking cool. I'm sorry I doubted you. That's awesome. So you've already answered this one a couple of times, but do you spend real money in-game? I'm guessing that uh, means like DLC and stuff like that. Yeah, so here, here's the deal. Uh, if I really love the game and if I know the people that make the game, I have no problem at, at paying my own money. Uh, perfect example, the, this really cool Rona skin came out for Vainglory. I could have sent an email to SEMC and be like, hey, can you hook me up? Um, or I could have grinded out to get it. Instead, I just paid the 52 bucks because I knew it would go to the company and support my friends. So. That's awesome. Do you get yeah. angry and insulting with other players who make mistakes? No, because I'm usually the one that makes the mistakes and gets the insults. <laughs> um, have you tried limiting your game time by switching games? No. Uh, I, no, I, you know, I wouldn't call it limiting. If I'm having fun, I'm having fun. All right. Are the people in your life worried about your gaming? No, because I make money and they all shut the fuck up at that point. <laughs> all right, guys, this is time for you guys to determine whether or not DZ Live on Twitch is or is not addicted to video games. And Bug is over here going, he is addicted to video games. She hasn't heard any of your answers. <laughs> but um, So anyways, DZ, I do want to say thank you. Uh, it has been absolutely amazing having you here tonight. Um, thank you so much for coming in. You've been so insightful. I know everybody on here has been amazing with the questions and I hope that everything that you've told them has helped them out with anything that they needed um, do you have anything else that uh, you wanted to give them advice for or? be yourself don't break the bank like I said before focus on social media link your Twitter link your Facebook and link your YouTube and your twitch settings after you finish streaming uh, before you start streaming make sure you have video on demand turned on so this way all your, all your videos are recorded and archived on Twitch. Um, and then once you finish streaming for the day, go back to your video on demand and fill out the information for your video. Give it a cool title. Uh, you can actually do a thumbnail now. You can actually upload a graphic you make, put it in your description, put in your tags. When you're done, dump it over to YouTube. There's an export to YouTube option. Use it. If you're not using these free tools, you're an idiot. Yeah. And, and actually, guys, as soon as I'm done with this, this entire stream will be highlighted. You will find it in my highlights, and it will get immediately exported to my YouTube channel. Link is listed below. Um, make sure that you guys get it. Share it. it it's, it's open to the public, so make sure you guys share it. Um, pretty much everybody has said that you're not addicted except for P-Base, and he says you're addicted, but you could quit at any time. Uh, I'm calling P-Base out right now in front of everybody. <laughs> P-Base is a professional photographer, and when he comes up to New York City, I want him to do my headshots, and I want him to do my cover photos. I'm calling you out, brother. You know I really want to do this, and I'd be happy to pay you. Ooh, P-Base. I want pictures, too. Real. All right, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I appreciate it. Ghost GT 27 are you ready? I have to know because I can't just like kick everybody over there if he's not ready to go yet. No, I'm not gonna slap any bugs that have flown in the window. <laughs> Last night, DZ, oh my god, I was streaming, and all of a sudden these you know the giant June bugs, mm -hmm. they like come through my window and they're like June June they're like I'm going shit stop I'm like go. It was hilarious. 
Hell yes, those kind. Wait, what are you? What are you talking about? Shot it. I will in a minute. Give me those pictures, <laughs> General. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my kid is drunk on her medication. Like. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, but I do appreciate you so much for being here. Hopefully, everybody in here got all their answers uh, to all their questions. Um, and again, you guys can check DZ out at any given point in time when he is streaming. Make sure that you guys do hit that follow button on him. Um, that way you could check him out and you know when he's going live. Follow him on Twitter. Um, his Twitter link is on his his Twitch page, which you guys can absolutely get there. Um, yes, thank you so much. Colin, are you ready? Because we're getting ready to go over there. It's funny. I like Colin's stream comes up before mine does when I type into the toolbar. Isn't that ridiculous? Well, if Colin would get his ass in gear, we wouldn't be waiting here. You know, if I had to find it, I'd have to for this shit. But Colin has to just do his thing. Big deal. Lottie freaking die. Whoop de I'm coming. Look at me. I'm taking forever. It's five o'clock in the morning. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but all right, guys, that's it for me. DC, thank you so much for being here. You have been an absolute gem. Love you, dude. You're amazing. I will subscribe to you until the end of the earth. Um, everybody, this is where we're gonna go. It's five o'clock in the morning, and I want you. Sorry, you I have music me. like playing Don't in my you. head now. I can't